All right, so today I was going to show you how to make a terrarium, a small terrarium, out of a plastic shoe box. And what I did first, and I already did it, was I cut out the middle of this lid so I can put a screen in. But the way I did that was on a cutting board. And you just need to make sure that you're always cutting away from yourself so you don't hurt yourself and uh, you can score this a number of times before it actually cuts through. Another tip is to put the lid out in the sun so it's nice and warm when you cut it. It doesn't have to be hot, but if it's cold, it's more likely to crack when you're cutting it. And you don't want there to be any cracks because it just doesn't look as good. So this is what it looks like all cut. And then I cut a screen to put right here so that I can spray water. This is actually a salamander terrarium. So right now I'm going to use hot melt and get the screen in. Hot melt dries really quickly, so I just do one side at a time. Otherwise, I mean, I've done this before, and otherwise it gets, uh, it dries <laughs> as I'm, one side dries as I'm doing the other side, so it doesn't work so well. And you can even put glue on top of it and kind of just push it in, because it is screen, so it has holes. This terrarium is for a little slimy salamander that I have. He was being held in a Chinese container, which I think I have a video. I don't know if I have a video showing you how I made that, but I have a video of him in it. I'll show you on this video. He's, he's getting upgraded because he's growing. And one more side. You just want to make sure it's all sealed up because they're, well for me, mine is pretty small, so I don't want them to squeeze out. Okay, that looks about right. Okay, so now I'm going to let that dry. It doesn't take very long. I'm going to move the cutting board. Alright, next we're going to work on the terrarium part. Well, that's drying. So this is just a shoe box that you can get at uh, Home Depot. And I got it for 98 cents with the lid really cheap, a lot cheaper than getting a Critter Keeper. And the first layer of every terrarium should be some kind of pebble for drainage. So I just use rocks that I also get at Home Depot. It's pretty much a Home Depot terrarium. And these are about $4 for a giant bag. And then you spread them out on the bottom. I'd say about half an inch. You don't need too much because it's pretty small. Anyway, so you don't want to overdo it with the rocks. Then I uh, cut a screen to keep the, when I put dirt in, to keep the dirt from going into the rocks. So you just want to fit that in. 
and you want to cut it a little bit bigger than the area you have to put it in so that you don't have any leaks of the dirt getting into the rocks. I made the, I made another one of these the other day and I made the mistake of cutting it a little too small. It's fine, but it's better if you cut it a little bigger. So now we have the screen in there. Next, you can put in the dirt. I just have organic choice potting mix. You just want to make sure it's organic because because you don't want um, any pesticides or plant food in there because it's just not necessary for your salamanders and they probably die anyway so don't want to do that. Hold on. Sorry about that. Camera fell down. I actually, I do all my videos on a tablet, so sorry, sometimes it looks kind of awkward. Alright, so now we'll add the dirt. going to use a little more dirt than that. I usually do this outside or in the garage so that I don't make a huge mess, but the lighting's pretty crappy in the garage. Oops. <clears throat> like that, so. Okay, so that's enough dirt. Okay, so next, I wet it down because it comes out of the bag not really moist enough for a salamander. Alright, so this is the old terrarium. I guess I don't really even, I shouldn't even call it a terrarium, but it's just a paper towel and some driftwood and a little moss and a rock for my tiny salamander. This is what he was in. So I'm going to take this stuff out of there and put it in here. him. All right, now he's in the new terrarium. Put his little hot house in. I 
also have some live moss that I'm going to put in. I, got, I also got that from Home Depot. So that's always a good thing to put in. It really holds the humidity. So let me show you the pretty much completed terrarium. log and some moss and over in the corner that's my little baby slimy salamander and the other thing I have is a small light which is actually can't show you right now but it's a small under the cabinet light I got from Home Depot and it's fluorescent and it'll fit perfectly right on top of this lid and I'll show you in another video but you get it right at Home Depot and it was only $12 so not so bad alright well thanks for watching if you have any questions you can ask me alright bye